Hi guys, my name is Chloe, also known as Penguin Cross Stitch, over on here and also over on Instagram. It has been a well, very long time since I last posted a update or a floss tube, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've tried my best to keep posting on Instagram, so if you want to follow me over there, you're more than welcome to. But it does take, as you all know, it does take a while to get things up and set up and it's, you should see everything on here. There's a lot, but I don't want this video to be long, so I'm only going to show you um, some finishes that I really want to show you, some stitchy kindness, and I also want to show you some new, a new start and also some whips that I have been working on for the past few months. I've not got whips that I've not worked on say about a year ago. I'm not going to show you them because I've not worked on them and there's no progress to see basically. So, but I've been, should I say I've been made redundant from work or whatever you want to call it so I've got a bit of free time now to film a video. Uh, but I'm okay, I've got a new job sorted and yeah, let's get on with it. So I would like to show you some previous finishes, um, you might have seen them on Instagram but if you don't follow me on Instagram you might have not seen them on here. So the first one I want to show you is from, if you see me looking over here I'm looking at my notes. <laughs> um, let me see where is it. So this is a Easter bunny and it's from a lady on Instagram. Her handle is a true craft. I'll try and insert here where her Instagram. But yes, it's this little guy. You might have seen this in a previous video, but I wasn't going to go back and watch it. I don't like doing that. But yes, this is this little guy. I have stitched this on, I believe, a 14 or 16 count hand dyed Ada from Riverhut Designs and unfortunately they didn't name their pieces, but I think they do now. But yes, I have used some pom-poms. The colour is not showing up properly. It never do with blue or green, so I shall have to do. You'll have to go over on my Instagram to see the true colours. Yes, that's the first one. The next one, the only one that I have really to show you, is a fully finished as well. And this is my favourite one. And this is stitched on, I want to say, a 28 or a 32 count even weave. Yes, even weave. I won't be stitching on an even weave or linen anytime soon. Don't like it. I can't count. I mess up. I have to frog it out. I get frustrated. And I have to put it away and then I'll never stitch on it again. But yes, this is um, Giggly Wigglies by the Trilogy, I think it's called. And this is what it looks like. And I finished it into my first ever little pillow. Just some brown fabric that I got from Abican, and I also got some pom poms to match. Yes. Yes. My first pillow. And I'm obsessed with it. So that uh, at the moment is the only two finishes that I believe fully finished that I have done so far. Um, another few finishes, they're not FFOs, just finishes that I have done is I can't remember where I got this from. I've not got it on my notes, which is annoying. But it was a little freebie, I believe, last year around Christmas time. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Excuse me. No, I'm not doing it. 
I'm just going to use this board. It's black, but I won't. Yes. This is it. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. And I've used, not the core four colours, I have used some things from Stash. So I think there's some Wix Dye Works, Classic Colour Works, and there is another one. I can't remember what it is. I think it's from... Is it Bee Stitch Me? I think it was theirs that I won on Facebook. I can't remember. And I've also used some little blue beads as well. I hope you can see it. And this is stitched on a 8, 16 count Ada. And I think it's in the colour golden, I think. And I believe this is, is it a fabric flare? I think they're called. It's a printed Ada, so it's just white on the back. Yes, I love that one. I am planning on getting the sewing machine out at some point at my sister's house, and I've got fully finished them into a little pillow cushion, whatever you want to call it. So there's that one. And then there is this one. I think this one is a, um, I believe. Again, I've not got this wrote down because I finished this a while ago. I think this is a DMC. Yes, I think it's a DMC little kit and it is a um, bookmark. But I'm going to stitch it, fully finish it into a cushion, pink cushion, whatever. It's going to be for my sister and it is a William Morris themed and it's the Strawberry Thief one. absolutely love this one I think she is having a William Morris themed wedding so I'm hopefully if it works and if I'm clever enough I'm gonna make it into a cushion and they're gonna have their rings on there on their wedding rings on there I'm hoping so yes I think this is just stitched on a I think it's a just a 14 or 16 count white Ada. Nothing fancy. And then I've got a few more. So I should have wrote this down, but I haven't. I'm not organised. I just thought I'm just going to film. Because if I don't, I never will. But I think it is Hands On Design. The Hello collection, I think. Um, I'm sorry if I'm wrong but I'll leave it down here and I'll put a picture of what, what it looked like but I have changed all the colours on them to something that I like which you'll all know if you previously watched me I love my blues, I love my greens so this is their monthly like January to December little ones so I have completed one and I've put buttons on and then I've not done the others so this is what they look like so January and February are on that one. And again, I think I'm going to put them into little cushions. See if I've got enough fabric. Because I've just guessed. So the blues on that one. And I've, then I have also done March and April as well. I don't know what buttons I'm going to use yet. I'm just going to pick out some random ones that I think are appropriate for, let's say, March. So I could do like a flower, or February could pick out like a love heart for Valentine's Day. I don't know. Just some random ones, I think. And then the final finish that I would want to show you is I finished this at the summer stitching retreat that was hosted by Floss Friends UK and that was at Holiday Inn in Rotherham and I had a fantastic time that was my first stitching retreat and I can't wait to go on more I'm not going to get into it because it, there's going to be so much to say but it was a fantastic time I love meeting everyone there Oh, it was just brilliant. So this is a soda stitch and it is a pop-up series and this one is a the cafe one. This is stitched on 
a 14 count piece by River Hook Designs. Again, this piece is not named, so I don't know what the colour is, but it's a beautiful colour. And I've stitched this in the Cold Four DMC, and I started this on the 5th of May 2023, and I finished it at the retreat on the 30th of July. So the only thing that I changed was the colour of her hat and her uniform. You probably won't know but I used to work in a cafe and this matched my uniform so I thought I would do that as me. But now I don't work at a cafe and it is a shame. But never mind, I'm obsessed with this. I had so much fun stitching it. And I'll definitely be doing some more of Soda Stitch. Thanks Amber, I am obsessed now. <laughs> My grandma Stitcher, she's got me hooked. But yes, obsessed. So I don't know how I'm going to finish, fully finish this. I was thinking of maybe a big cushion. And that would be nice. I don't want to frame it. I think the fabric's too nice to to hide it. I don't know. There's a lot of fabric. But yeah. Love it. Okay, so move it on. Let's now talk about stitch your kindness. I posted on, I think I posted it on Instagram, I think so, um, some Stitch of Kindness that I got probably over six months ago now from Rogue Mama Stitcher Amber. She kindly sent me some few goodies, so I'm just reaching to get them. She left me a, uh, she sent me a beautiful card, handwritten card as well, I thought it was very kind of her, but... Looking at these, my colours. So, first thing that she got me was my first Mill Hill kit. And this one is the Penguin Santa, the Antarctic Santas. And of course, she knows me well, it is penguins. And I have started it, not going to lie, I have started it. But I've gone wrong. I don't know why, but I've gone wrong. I can't remember why. I think some stitches go one way and some stitches go the other way. I got distracted and yeah. So I think I might have to rip, up, rip some stuff out or frog some stuff out and do it again. But I have started it. And I think I'll pick it up again in November and hopefully finish it for December. But I am obsessed. Thank you, Amber. And next, I'm not going to get out the wrapper because I know crinkles, but she has sent kindly sent me some hand dyed fabric by Rolanda. Rolanda, however you say it. And this is a 14 count Opal Ada. And oh, you can't see it, but it's blues, greens, bit of yellow in there. Oh, absolutely beautiful. And I can't wait to get this open and stitched. I'm planning on stitching a soda stitch, obviously, because Amber, you always stitch. Um, sodas on them so and speaking of sodas soda stitch whatever you want to call them <laughs> she sent me some patterns and of course they are bluey themed they are winter themed this one is date on the ice it looks like this love it and then she got me this one, which is Snowy World, and it looks like this. 
beautiful. Definitely will be stitching both of them. So I'd just like to say a massive thank you to Amber. You're very much appreciated and I love everything. Obsessed. Okay, so next stitch of kindness. This was probably gifted to me a couple of months ago now, I say, I believe. If not longer. But this one is from Stitch Sally over on Frostrude and also over on Instagram. She messaged me on Instagram and she was like, I've got something for you. I hope you like it and I want to send it to you. And I was like, oh, yes, do it, do it. And this is what she sent me. She said she stitched this years and years ago and she just thought of me as soon as she found it back. It's a bag red. Absolutely obsessed with it. I believe it is a scissor, scissor pocket, you could put scissors in there, I believe, I'm 100% sure, but perfect, I love it, it just sits on my little shelf with all my little penguins, I love it, I love it, I'm not sure what it's stitched on, but your stitches are perfect, I'm jealous. So a big thank you to Stitch Sally. I love it. Thank you very much. Okay, moving on now. I think let's move on to whips. Whips. So like I said from the start, I am only going to show you what I have currently been working on for the past few months. So I'll insert a picture of what this one is going to look like. This one is um Chester Penguin that I have called it and I took a photograph of this penguin myself and I used I believe Pictopat as online place where you can turn your pictures into cross stitch and that's what I did this is what it's going to look like and that is all I have done <laughs> it's not a lot but yeah that's what I've done and this one is stitched on I think it's 25 count I believe I hope I'm right but the reason why I've not stitched on it is because it's so tiny I can't see because <coughs> I normally stitch at night and I don't really have good lighting but yes that's all I've done I've not got all the DMC colours yet for this one so that's Another reason why it's a slow going, but I can't wait to get more progress on. I'm starting to work up on the penguin's head as well. So that's very exciting. Next one is the Christmas wreath by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. This was a salve a long time ago now and nope, I've still not finished it. <laughs> about halfway though <laughs> and I did say to myself I want to get it finished for this Christmas I said it last year and the year before but it never happened but I'm not going to say it again but I'll insert a picture of what it's going to look like when it's finished and if you have seen me before or on my Instagram you have known you will know that I have changed a lot of colours and yeah and this is stitched on a 16 or 14 count cream Ada that I had just lying around in stash and oh, it's very crinkly I'm sorry I'm not gonna iron it and this is what it looks like now I'm saying about halfway so yeah as you can see, I've changed the colour of the house, I've changed the colour of the bow, I've inserted penguins, I've got rid of the um, gingerbread and put another penguin in. And I'm loving it. I think the bow is, um, let me try and zoom in. I think the bow is stitched in a twirl, a twirl, 
and let me see if you can see it shining a little bit. Yeah, I am obsessed with this and I think I am going to finish this in a hoop and put pom-poms around it, big pom-poms. If I can't find big pom-poms, I think I might attempt to make my own because I want them big. But yes, so I'm trying not to lose my needle. I'm working up here now on this little Christmas box. Christmas present and yes very happy with that one next one is um, one that I have been working on recently oh no projects are stuck together with needle minds now oops oh no and it's come off the hoop bear with Wow, this needle's strong. Okay. I'll insert a picture of what it's going to look like. I'll also in below where right where it's from as well. She's not an English lady, so I don't know your name, sorry. And I am not going to lie, I have, done, I have loved working on this piece. I've done a lot of stitches. And it's starting to look like this. And I am doing Whip Go this year. I have stuck to it. And I think there's only, what? I've just completed my August um, goals, which were... Obviously two numbers got pulled and they were both for this project. So I have completed it and yes, each goal was to do 200 stitches. So I have, in fact, I think I've done about eight, 900 stitches on this. I'm obsessed. I just love it. I love working on the penguins, but I'm trying my best not to keep working on the penguins as I need to get all the blue done first before I start working on penguin. I think what I'm going to do next time I pull this one out, I think I'm going to do two strands of the blue first and then I'll pick one strand in the penguin and I'll go back to the two strands in the blue and then one strand for the penguin. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yes, obsessed. Absolutely love this one. Next one. Oh, and that one I think is stitched on 16 count easy guide Ada. Next one is from Design Works. This I have called the Sunset Penguins. And this is stitched on a 14 count Ada and it's white. And this is what it's going to look like when it's finished. I haven't stitched this, I haven't stitched on this one for a while, but this was on Whip Girl as well. I'm not going to insert, well, obviously, if you have you, as you have seen, I'm not going to stitch. Oh my god, what the fuck? As you have seen, I have not inserted pictures of what they look like last time you saw them. Because I'm going to be looking back over a year ago and yeah, that's going to take up a lot of time. So I'm just going to start this one as fresh and just show you what I've done. So that's what it looks like and sorry about the threads but this is what it looks like now. And I'm still not hit the penguins. But never mind, they are beautiful colours. I don't normally like stitching in oranges or green, greens. There's no green on there. I don't like stitching on oranges or yellows. But they're beautiful. But yeah, there it 
is that one. The next one is my Chester project, which is from Kinetic Designs, I believe. Yeah, Kinetic, and this is what it looks like. This is a big piece. It's going to take me forever to do, just like the penguin one. But yes, a lot of confetti. I am currently working up in here and yeah there's a lot of confetti as you'll see. This one is stitched on 18 count Ada and this is in the colour cream. I'm going to show you the upside down then and this is what it looks like. I would say this is full coverage. I mean it is full co coverage but there's only all this is not stitched. Just where you see in the picture, a little bit of blue in the sky and then that is it. The rest of it is just left. So does that pass as full coverage? I don't know. I'm calling it as a full coverage. I don't know. Yes. I think last time I worked on it, I did, I filled these in here. But I wet go, I believe. I think next time I pull it out, I think I'm going to come away from this. I think I might come over here. Because I'm getting bored over there. Stitching the dark colours. But yes. So that is that one. And then the next one, I'll insert a picture of what it's going to look like. This is my lovely granddad that I got turned into cross stitch. I've not done a lot on this just because I have not good lighting and it's with dark colours and yeah. But I think we're getting there. We're getting there. And this is what he looks like. I have moved it up a little bit just so I can reach this bit here. This, I think I have just there, uh, oh no I've not, I think this is stitched on 18 count Easy Guide Ada and it is using DMC colours, I think there's about 96 colours in this, you wouldn't believe it but there are, I think there's about 7, 5 to 7 colours up in there alone, and yes, in the picture I think it goes a bit further down here with like a bit more of his jumper and the sofa I think I'm gonna crop that out and just get just underneath his chin maybe I think it'll just be a waste of time just in a lot of black and you can't really see it so I think I might crop that out to get it done sooner but yes next time I work on this I want to try and get this bottom bit finished or complete I think this is called two more times on my whip go before the year ends so that's my goal by the end of the year I want this bottom bit complete so in January I can totally move over onto this side and hopefully finish it this time next year but we'll see again my granddad Okay, I've got two more projects left to show you. This one is not cross stitch, this is a black work kit, not kit, a chart or whatever you want to call it. And I think this one is by Creatively Crafting, I believe, on Instagram. I think that is her name, I'm not 100%. But this is stitched on a Be Stitch Me and it is 18 count Ada and yes oh I'll insert a picture actually of what this is going to look like before I show you it's beautiful beautiful and I had to stitch it as soon as I saw it and this is where I am up to so I 
actually made a bit of a mistake on this. I should have not stitched a sonata. There is a there is a lot of going through or missing the holes and going through the fabric itself. And yes, a lot of concentration on this one. But yes, I'm loving it so far. There's not a lot left to do. I think I think I might have reached the whole side. I think it's just a little bit more now, I think, I believe. And then yes, I want to turn this one into a little cushion pillow as well. There is that one and then the final project I want to show you is uh, Ruskin's Penguins by Modern Folk Embroidery and this one is a new start. Just move my thread out of the way. I should have taken this off but never mind. But yes, um, I started this on 2nd of August 2023 and this is stitched on 18 counts in the colour Aventurine, I believe, and it's by also by Be Stitch Me. And this is what it looks like. I am obsessed. Oh, and um, I am also using DMC 310 and the white as well. But yes, I love it. I think this should take me another few evenings to stitch up and it will be finished. I am wanting to hopefully frame this in a rusticky white frame I think. But yes. One can't be angry when one looks at a penguin. Love it. So yes. That is everything that I want to show you. This is just going to be hopefully a little video of trying to get back in to the floss tube world basically and I don't know if I'm going to post this or not. I really want to but fingers crossed you're seeing this and yes I just want to thank everyone who's been messaging me over on Instagram asking how I am, how I'm doing, when's my next posting but yes, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm just grateful that you, can, you like watching me and you keep coming back. And if you're new, subscribe and I hope, hope to see more. Thank you.